Hey everybody, good evening. I'm Kristen and welcome to Cardio Kickboxing. So glad that you're here joining me this evening. I hope you all had a great day. So we're officially done with um, the recording of the YouTube video. So I can be a little bit more informal. I'll try to stick around for a little bit more time after class to chat if you have any questions. A um, couple of things guys before we get started because there's a few updates through the Parker Rec Center that I have for you. The first um, major update that I have to give you is that stay tuned because we should be able to hopefully, hopefully be able to open in some capacity soon. We're still waiting for um, the all clear from Governor Polis and so we will be um, keeping you updated via our website, but we're hoping for a very early June opening for um, a very reduced capacity opening but we hope to offer some great classes to you. Um, hopefully I'll be on the schedule to come and teach some indoor cycling, um, but be um, on the lookout for those changes coming up through the Parker Rec. So yay, we're gonna be very cautious about cleaning, deep cleaning and want our participants and instructors to be feeling safe. So just know that they're on it. Our um, managers over there are incredible and are working hard to make this happen for all of us. The other update is that beginning June 1st, we are only going to be offering the virtual classes to um, paid customers. So here's how you can do that. Be sure to check through the Parker Rec Center. You can pay $10 weekly and get a weekly link to the classes. Um, it will change every week, or you can do a $30 a month and that's for unlimited classes. And, um, the other thing is that um, we have over 100 classes, I'm checking my notes here, um, we have over 100 classes now online through YouTube that are completely free and that you do not need to pay the weekly or monthly fee. So those will still be there out there for you to take from all of our fabulous instructors. So um, I think those are all of the updates I have. Go to Parker Rec Center website for more um, updates and we will be getting even more information out to you soon. Let's go ahead and talk about today. We are going to um, need the following. Some open space, definitely want some water, perhaps a towel to towel off, and something new and fun to add. I did this right at the beginning of virtual classes, but I would recommend getting a broomstick, possibly some weights, um, this is just like one of those light bulb sticks or duster um, because we're going to add in some work today with this as well. So feel free, you don't need it, but it might be a fun option. So here's the game plan. One minute intervals, 10 second recovery. We're going to go through 15 drills and then hopefully repeat those drills one more time through this evening. But first, let's go ahead and start with our warm up. Go ahead and open those arms nice and wide. Let's go ahead and give a little step touch right here. And right behind me, I've got my neighbor getting new exterior paint. So you might see someone on a very tall ladder. That's what's going on behind me. So go ahead and reach up and pull down. Reach up and pull down. Breathe in and out. I think that somebody may have commented and just know, I will try to look at those right after class, everybody. Nice deep breaths. Good. Again, make it a little bit bigger with that step touch. In and out with the arms. We're gonna take it into a B step. So just out, out, and in, in. Almost like you're tracing a V or a triangle or an ice cream cone. And let's bring those arms up, integrating that block, warming up that core. Now let's get it the other way. You can start adding a little bit of a jump. But if those ankles need some rotation, go ahead and give them that rotation now one way. So we're going to start throwing in that jump and the other, and then that other side, one way and the other. That boxer shuffle can go ahead and come on in if you're ready. That guard is up. I want you right here with a jab cross. Just a jab cross now, one and two. You can slow it down, you can speed it up. Remember, we are just getting warm. Anytime you want to add a little bit more movement, don't feel restricted, all right? Move around as you please. You're going to get more cardio output, but 
the more movement you're adding. So even if that's in a jog, you can add that. But do have that rotation from the hips. Do lift the heel, twist and turn, and be strong in that core, those abs. Good. Front hooks, one and two. One and two. Front hook, back hook. Front hook, back hook. Be intentional still about that hip movement and that heel movement. I want you smooth. I want you looking like a boxer crow. Nice and tough, right? We're not here. That's not going to do a whole lot. Okay? This will. Uppercuts give you one, two in the uppers. Keeping those arms close. If you're new to class, I won't be playing music so you can hear me. But that doesn't mean you can't turn that music on. So feel free to get something on that pumps you up. Feel free to get that water whenever you need it. Four, three, two, center up. Now, front kicks. One and two with the kicks. One and two. One and two. Now I want you to start pulling those arms down. Anytime those arms are up ahead, overhead, we're gonna work harder. Hitting with that heel, kick away. Slight lean back, abs are nice and tight. And turn that body, give a side kick and a tap. Notice how I'm gonna pull that leg in before I set down. That's gonna reinforce that great form. So we're not looking like this, okay? Nice strong kick, then we set down. We're gonna change it to a roundhouse kick, pointed toes. Think of coming around that opponent, okay? Around to hit that opponent. Four, and three, two more. And one, other side, side kick and a tap. Side kick and a tap. Anytime you need to slow it down, keep it going. Slow it down to make sure you've got that great form. Do so. Anytime we want to add in a little hop to get more cardio in there, do so. Roundhouse kick, point the toes. Four more. Three, strong. Jab, cross, other side, here we go. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Twist and turn, twist and turn, keep going. Good, good, good. Look at one and two. So I just saw a little question about monthly fees. I'm guessing that's membership based. So your membership would be extended for any time period that we've been on a pause. Uppercuts. If I didn't adequately answer that, you can go ahead and ask me after class. I'll stick around, team. Anything I can't answer, hopefully those questions will be answered really soon. Give me four, three, two, jumping jacks right here. Now crisscross, crisscross those feet, little change. Anytime we want to take out that jump, we can do so. We can even take that crisscross, taking out that plyometric. Good, skier. See some similar movements through class today. Four, two back, up top, up top. Nice little bend, can be a march, or that shuffle. A little bit quicker, go, go, go. Jump rope. Heels to the ground, toes up, center. A little bit quicker, going to that run. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, get that water. It's game time. We've got 15 drills, one minute a piece. Keep moving anytime I'm talking. 10 seconds, we're gonna preview the next drill. 
Once you've got it, go right into it. No waste of time. Starting out, eight fronts, then four doubles. I'll cue you through. Are you ready to sweat? Let's do it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, double, 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 double. Singles, eight. Double, double, double. You got it. Let's keep going with that. Now, you can add in that movement. Getting more cardio in. Notice how much bounce I added. Eight singles, four doubles. Hit, 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 hit. Good. Make sure you're breathing. More power. 12 seconds. Everything. Time. Next up. We're going to go ahead and head to one side. One foot forward, cross, hook. Back cross, front hook. Ready? Here we go. 30 seconds one side. Then we're going to switch together. You can slow this down. Still making sure you get that power or pick it up. Notice when you pick up that power or that pace, you're going to be a little more out of breath. That's that heart working hard. Eight seconds left. Then we're going to quick switch. Have a little more movement. Switch. Jab cross. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Move with it. Move and groove. Power. Ten seconds. Can you do some up and down today during class? Time. Crisscross legs. Four of them. Arms can be up. Then four uppercuts. Get low. Crisscross for four. Four. Three. Two. One, four, three, two. That's those crisscross. It's just like a jack. We've got crisscross, adding something new in. Let's see how low you can go in those uppers, driving that power from the legs. Thirty more seconds. Next move is gonna involve that body bar. It can be weighted, it can be a broomstick, or even hand weight, or nothing at all. A new fun challenge. 10 seconds. Body bar is next. Or wings, we're gonna go up ahead, overhead with a tap, back. Option, up and down quickly. Now keep going. If you have those weights, be careful. With those dumbbells, stopping at a field goal. Think about punching up to the sky or blocking, but don't go too far forward. Stay centered, arm stop right around that shoulder height. You need to slow it down, especially if you have heavier weights, you can do so. And then experiment with this. Take up that pace. Think about blocking. Someone's coming down on you. Boom! Not gonna happen, right? You're not gonna get to us. Boom! Boom! 12 seconds. Give me more. Get there. Squats are next. We can have dumbbells or our bar up overhead or on the waist. Just up and down. Of course, my doorbell. You keep going. I love 
And Chi-Chi will get me across here now. Okay, okay, there you go. Yeah. The kids would love to. All right, we'll see you later. Bye, cuties. Real life, right? <laughs> All right, keep going. Three little cute faces with helmets on. You didn't get a chance to see them. Adorable. Now, if you want more, what you're gonna start doing is adding that top in there, sinking low, weights in the back, going towards the heels, chest is staying tall. You've got 20 seconds. If you wanna take out that bounce, that's okay. You can even stay low in a pull squat. See how that challenges you. But what doesn't challenge you doesn't change you. You've got 10 seconds. Come on. We're gonna set that bar down. We've got three scissors and a front kick. The back leg is then gonna be your front kick. Check it out. One, two, three, kick. Bring it back. One, two, three, kick. One, two, three, kick. One, two, three, kick. One, two, three, kick. You can bring in those arms. You can also get a little bit lower in a lunge. So whatever you land on right there and back, that's your kick to the front. Three, then a front. As you're jumping, be cautious that you're not leaning far forward, letting that knee cross over. Stay tall, stay strong. Stay strong in the kicks, like you're knocking down a door. Ha! Get that big exhale. We can't hear you. So bring it, come on. Ha! Don't leave me hanging by myself. Nice job. Jab, cross, hook, upper cut. Okay? Then we switch. All about the jab, cross, hook, upper. Jab, cross, hook, upper cut. At 30 seconds, other side. You're probably catching your breath. Once you feel ready, attack. Move. Yes. I like what I see. Good job, good job. Switch. Jack, cross, hook, upper. You've just switched that lead. That's it. You haven't lost that power. Five seconds. And we're going back to those straights, four of them to the front, followed by a burpee. Burpee option is a walk back. Go, four, three, two, one. Drop, burpee. Make sure those glutes stay down. Then come back up for that four. Keep it going. Option right now is the four. Then coming down to walk back. Walk in. Stand it up. If you don't want that, we can stay tall. Okay? Do another squat and a calf raise. Lots of options. Get those glutes down on that burpee. Try to get up quickly. Awesome job. All right, here's the plan. Two high hooks, two low hooks. Any combination of four hooks is great. Go. So with these hooks, if you want to turn with them, do it. If you want two on one side, two on the other, then maybe go low, switch it up. Maybe you have two high, two low. But once you get comfortable with those punches, bring back that leg work, all right? Make those legs work. 
We get cheek to cheek, gut, gut. Maybe doubles. Maybe all four on one side, all four on the other. Have some fun. All four. Twelve seconds. More, more, more. Come on. And this one's strong. Then we grab that bar. Nine. Bar is going to come up overhead. Obliques working. Knee up. Bring that knee up to the elbow. Whether we have that bar or weight or nothing at all, think about those obliques really working the side crunch. If you can, try to take that tap out and just hold that leg to the side. Whoa, right? Small difference, but big result. If you need to, hold on to a wall. We can still lift by holding on right there and switch to that other side. Try to take out that little tap, but not the wall like I used it. It's right here. Squeeze, squeeze. Brilliant work. Shoulders back, all about the lunges. We hold one side, we're holding it low. Bar can be up overhead or on the thigh, or even right here. Check that out. But now stay low for that pulse, that pulse lunge right there. Good, if you've got those dumbbells, it can be by your sides, up on your shoulders. Very nice. For these last 10, can you bring that back leg in and out, in and out. Quick switch, other side. Stay low, stay low, stay low. Shoulders down and back, stay strong in the upper body. Sometimes we wanna hunch, especially when we're really feeling it, right? So roll back. You're about to tap. In and out, stay low, stay down. Ready for the win right here, come on, tap. Tap it up, tap. Controlled and low. Good. All right. Right here, overhand grip. We're coming up overhead with punches. We can take it up for a hop. Join when you're ready. I'm going to turn to the side so I have more rhythm. Make sure as you're punching, you're not overextending the elbow. Little softness, but power. Go high with those punches. One and two, catch that air. That tap is great. Same result, lots of shoulder work. Notice how the abs even have to squeeze to get those fierce punches out. Less than 30 seconds. You in it to win it? Come on. And it's strong. We put the bar down after this. Get more aloft. Come on. Get low and high. Go, go, go. All of the, for those of you that have dumbbells, woo, because I felt it even with just that bar. Check it out. Side kick, roundhouse, then punching bag takes you around to that other side. Side kick, roundhouse, punching bag to that other side. Let's do it. Side kick, roundhouse, Punching back, other side. Side kick, roundhouse, other side. On that punching back, make it intentional. I want one of these, right? I want, boom, 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 boom. Come on. About 30 seconds. Is that power in those kicks? 
six. Stick with great form. This way. Give me a jab, cross, slip, slip. Someone's gonna punch you, you're gonna get out of the way. Go, jab, cross, slip, slip. Jab, cross, slip, slip. Now notice on that slip, keep going. I am using so much oblique right here as I get out of the way. Lots of legs too. We're gonna switch in eight seconds to that other side, and I want it just as strong. Watch the knees. Still not crossing the toe line. Breathe. Boom, boom. And switch. We're gonna take this one a little bit longer. Got so into my slip slip. I slipped on that time. Keep it going, keep it going. Keep it going. Come on. Stay strong in this one. Come on. It's longer for a reason, right? We're gonna prove our strength. Eight seconds. And one more. Yes. Awesome work. All right, here's the game plan. Keep moving, jump rope. I'm gonna preview this. We're gonna do a plank, one minute with a little variation. We're gonna bring those knees, I'm gonna show it this way, horizontally so you can see. My wrists are under the shoulders. My knees can be down if I have a mat or a comfy surface. We're gonna bring those knees up, up, then out, out. So it's like a slow mountain climb. And then we're getting those obliques one more time. Center, center, side, side. If that's too much, hold that plank. Ready? Nice long recovery after this. One more option I'm going to show is that plank right here against a wall. We can still have those knees center and those knees to the side. The center and the side. Breathe. Get in your zone right here. Mental toughness. Are you breathing? Make sure you're breathing. Are you sweating? Because I definitely am. We're feeling that heat today. You've got 15 seconds left. You've got this. Yes, you can, yes you can. Eight more. And there is that beautiful timer. Come on up. Take the time you need. We're gonna grab that water. You're gonna keep on moving because we've got another time through. This time you're gonna know what to expect. This time, I know you also know where you need to take that effort up a notch, all right? So make sure you hang tough. Make sure you make adjustments because there's no going back. Once you cross it off your list this time, we're not revisiting it. 15, it's a mean 15. Coming up first. We've got those eight jabs to the front, those straights, and then those doubles for four, all right? So again, it's right here for eight, then the double, double, 
double and double. After the 15, we're gonna have a little conditioning work at the end for some strength, and we're there. Get ready. Get set, knee 15, here we come. Let's do it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, double, 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 go. Is that footwork in there? Hey, come on. Double, double. Extend those arms through a little bit further. Come on. Thirty seconds. That's all you got. Come on. Everything. Come on. One more big punch. Uh, yes. All right. We're going for that cross. Now hook to the front. Cross, hook, cross, hook, go. Cross and hook. Cross and hook. Are you feeling that shoulder after all that shoulder work tonight? Even that plank, right? And it creating that shoulder. So you only have 10 seconds. We go that other side. So, turn it up, go. Ready, turn. Cross hook, cross hook. Right there, good shoulder, come on. Turn, turn with it. Whole body, gonna get a lot more in that calorie output. Getting that whole body in there. More movement. Flexion and they pass. I want you to think about top 
and then down, roller coaster. Gain that momentum. Okay. Weave in those abs. And if you want it, you know you can always add in a little more movement with that hop. See what it does to that heart. I want you to be out of breath. Less than 30. If we're staying in that squat, you can go even lower and pulse it out if you're not adding that little jump. If you are adding that jump, see if you can land low. 12 seconds. Not higher than low, but land low. Jump high. Come on. Come on. Five seconds. Nicely done. All right. Put that body bar down. Three scissors, front kick. Back leg becomes your kick. Scissors to front. Three, two, one, kick. Three, two, one, kick. After you kick, plant that foot behind, then scissor it. Strong kick. Strong kick. Kick. Option. A tap to a kick. Tap, kick. 30 seconds. Fifteen strong. Don't stop now. Five seconds. Yeah, cross, hook, upper, classic. Move as much as you can. Ready, kick. Jab, cross, hook, upper, cut. You're alternating left, right, left, right, or right. Left, right, left of your manier. Think about having those fancy feet when you can. Getting ready for a quick switch. Switch that lead, jab, cross, hook, upper, other side. Very well done. All right, everybody, here's what we're going to do. We've got those hooks, so we're going four of them, any direction you please, maybe four on one side, four on the other, two and two, maybe a singles, four, just like that, high, high, low, low. Are you adding that movement? Don't stay stuck in mud. Less than 30 now. Make it count. All the hugs, come on. Let them shine, 10 seconds. All right, four straights to that burpee. Get ready, everyone. Let's go. Four straights, burpee time. You know your options. Now here's the great news. Got this little cardio peak right now. I wanted to really feel like that. Then you've got those oblique squeezes. So push yourself cardiovascularly. Maybe you even took that cardio. Want to add in that tuck at the very top. 
I want you to push it. I want you pushing it so much that you're out of breath. All right, come on. Twenty seconds. Cardio push right here. Come on, beat it. Ten seconds. Out of breath. Time. Well done. Obliques. Make sure you're getting that water when you need it. We're filming with that body bar, with that little oblique. Small movement, but very effective. Right here. When you're ready, try to balance even more. Don't let that foot sink. Option, right there with that wall. Squeeze. Notice how that glute kicks, kicks in too. Those legs are working, those shoulders are working. Those obliques are working. We are working. <laughs> All right. Get ready for a switch. Other side. Feel the side. Just kind of cringe. Not your face. Let that oblique do that. Breathe. Bringing this to that lunge coming next. 12 seconds. Try to hold that balance. Anytime we balance, that core has to work harder. For those of you in yoga, you really know that, right? Shoulders down and back to reset. One foot forward, like we're on railroad tracks. We're sinking low to that little pulse lunge. Let me get out of that direct sunlight. There we go. All right. Remember, dumbbells by your sides. Or up on the shoulders. Perhaps if we're using that bar, we're gonna use it for balance. And now we're gonna tap it, tap, tap. And we're gonna hold it strong. We're not coming forward into a bow. Tap. And quick switch, other side. Pulse it low. Stay low. Don't cheat yourself by coming up. Stay in the basement. Those taps are coming. Set those glutes on fire. Set that quad on fire right now. Tap, tap, tap. Stay low, stay low. We're going to take it back up to cardio here in a second with that punch overhead. Shake that out. All right. We're going up top with that block. We can add back a little cardio burst. The more we can move, the better. Let's go. Have some fun. Maybe you want to hit four, head around the world. Big movement right here. Don't overextend the elbow, but do keep that block strong with a punch, punch. Less than 30 seconds. Move across that floor. Up. Up. Fierce. 12 seconds. Come on, come on. Eight. And five. Set that bar down. We're taking it to those kicks. Side kick, roundhouse, punching back other side. Ready, go. Side kick, roundhouse, punching back other side. We are on number 13. Going to 15. Before we bring it down to some conditioning, a little bit more core. Keep those kicks really strong, really mighty. Fifteen seconds. 
seconds, everyone. Thanks, John, on those kicks. Well done. All right, here's what's happening next. Jab, cross, slip, slip. 30, then 30. Number 14. Jab, cross, slip, slip. That core really working. If you want, swim it back and forth with a little jump. If you want to up that cardio. Seconds, we switch that other side. Switch. Well done, everybody. Awesome work. Go ahead and sit it back. Open up that chest for a second. Circle those shoulders back. Grab that sit. Now, if you had a mat nearby, I want you to think about grabbing that or even just have um, a carpet rug nearby or even a towel. We're not going to do anything on our back today, but you may want this in a moment or some extra cushion. So we're going to start with something that I like to use at the Park Rec Center every once in a while. I think we're going to really feel this. So what I want you to do is go ahead and sit. And we're going to sit nice and tall and bring our one knee into the chest. Opposite foot is out. Now we're not going to have pointed toes, but we're, those toes are going to face towards the ceiling, okay? All we're going to do is lift that foot up. We're going to take it nice and slowly, windshield wiper, out to the side and front. If you would prefer to sit against a wall, you can. What I don't want to happen is for us to get slouchy like this. As that quadricep fatigues, we're going to want to kind of slouch. Think about a nice string right here lifting us tall, okay, towards that sky. All right, here we come. I want you to go out and in, out and in. You're not gonna believe how this makes that quadricep thing. I am already feeling it, especially after the lunges and squats today. Now, if it's too much, try bending that knee more. Won't be so much in that leg. And if it's too much in the hips, just go ahead and add a little bend, shorten that range of motion, until you find that nice sweet spot that's going to challenge you, that quad can be on fire. Go 
Got less than 30 seconds left. And the last time we're gonna leave that foot out, and all we're gonna do is pulse that foot towards the sky. Holy moly, right? You guys, this one gets me every time. All right, go ahead and leave that out and go ahead and pulse up. Woo! Right? Five seconds. In three, there's two, and there is one. Get some blood flow back in. Oh my goodness. Go ahead and switch. Other side. Got to even it out. You know what's coming now? Okay, let's even it out here. Now, why in cardio kickboxing are we doing this? Definitely strengthens the legs. Also helps with our posture on all those kicks, punches. We want to keep those legs strong for kicks, even for those uppercuts. Great conditioning work. A new challenge. You know I always love to throw challenges at you. 30 seconds. Stay tall. Am I right? Start wanting to sit back, but sit tall. Keep it strong and breathe. In 10 seconds, we're gonna go ahead and go for that little lift. All right, lift time. Blast off right here, come on. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Have that out. We did a lot today for the shoulders and biceps. We're gonna hit the triceps. We're gonna go for a dip. So you can move that toe out of the way. And just go for a little dip. Elbows go straight behind. Okay. Now, the further our feet are in, the less this will be on the back of the arms, the triceps. So if it's not enough, start gradually walking those feet out. If you need more, Try lifting a foot. Now we're gonna add in something, little bonus. And what we're gonna do is right now, take those feet up, okay? Add in a dip and a lift, dip, lift, dip, lift. Now, can we add just a little bit more hop in there? Five, four, three, two, and there's one. Let's go ahead and stretch that real quick before we head into our very final exercise and switch. We're gonna go ahead and take this into a V-sit for the abs for one more minute. Now here's where you might want more cushion underneath those glutes under that tailbone, okay? Or find a carpet nearby. We're gonna take those legs out and in. Now that option is instead of holding those fingertips behind, we can also lift those hands up right here, all right? Thinking of an elastic band, expanding, okay? Contract and relax, let's go. Now, if that's too much, go ahead and drop those heels. We can take those hands behind as well, taking a little bit at a time for a sit up or that extension. Releasing if we want. We're going to plant those feet and right here, side to side, one more oblique. Side to side. Center up, in and out. 10 seconds. Five seconds. And there's that timer. Well done. Let's go ahead and take one foot out to the side, everybody. Go ahead and lengthen and go ahead and fall forward right here. This is a great time to change that music to something that relaxes you. Stretch those hamstrings and calves. From here, go ahead and crisscross and light 
push forward. So you're gonna get that inner thigh stretch. Go ahead and take some ankle rolls as well. You're gonna feel this in the glute to that outer glute. And to that other side. Lengthen and then forward bend. So team, little switch on some of our virtual fitness classes. If you miss the beginning of class, it will be fee-based as since we have instructors and we're still a revenue-based gym. We're gonna start charging for those classes, but new classes to come, exciting schedule. Go ahead and crisscross. I am gonna start teaching HIT at this time starting next week. So for those fee-based classes, it's gonna be $10 weekly. You'll get a join code, or to save money, you can do $30 for the whole month. With that being said, go ahead and crouch down team for a second, bring those heels to the ground. We also have over 100, 100 YouTube classes that have been taped from our Zoom classes. Go ahead and come up one vertebrae at a time, shoulders down and back, quadricep stretch, heel away from the glute, feel that quad stretch. So check out those YouTube classes, and if you want to continue to see the new stuff live, then check out the Parker Rec Center website, and I hope to see you on future Zoom classes. Also, more updates to come. We are very hopeful. It's very promising that we are going to be opening. Um, so be sure to check it out. It's opening with caution, of course, and that's not official news yet. Head down. Go ahead and those hands together, chin to chest. So do check out um, the website, Parker Rep, because we are getting updates just about every day, and things could also change based on the current circumstance. Go ahead and open up that chest, hands interlaced behind. With our um, potential opening, we're gonna have reduced capacity. We're gonna be extra safe. Lots of cleaning can happen. Go ahead and crisscross, IT band stretch, reach. Feel that stretch all the way down that leg. I will potentially be teaching a cycling class early in the morning. I would love to see you then. And I'll continue teaching on Zoom. Go ahead and reach. So we hope to see you on future Zoom classes and at the Parker Rec Center really soon. Two deep breaths in. I miss you all. And out. One more of those. In and out. Team, well done. Thank you for joining me. If it was your first time, again, my name is Kristen. Feel free to stick around. I'm not sure if I'll be able to answer all questions. Lots of info still coming out of us. Um, it's kind of like drinking out of a fire hydrant right now with all the information. But do check out the Parker Rec Center website. And if you are a current member, you should be getting some emails too. I hope I get to see you soon, whether that's on Zoom or at the Parker Rec Center. Thanks, everyone. Have a great rest of your week. Thank you, Mari. Thanks, Emily. Thanks, Janice. Thanks, Rush. Thanks, Megs. Thanks for the inspiration. So based on that monthly fee, we'll be able to extend you um, whatever time you missed out at the Parker Rec Center, that time will be extended. Um, unless you're a Silver Sneakers member, of course, then that will still be included. Awesome, everybody. Thank you for your kindness. Thanks, Alana. Thanks, Nicole. Thanks, everyone. Have a great night.